This is a tutorial on how to make your green skin realistic no matter what it is or what color it is. The, f the same rules apply. Um, this is a live stream so you'll see my lips moving so don't worry about that. But if you want to see the full live stream of this or any other live streams including gaming in the future as well. Or future art projects or art tutorials or even doing a full manga with me. I'm planning to do that later in the year. Go to twitch.tv slash gleamp, which is just glee and mp at the end of it. Gleamp. G-L-E-E-M-P. Okay, let's get to the tutorial. Um, maybe I should show you more of my face though. Over here and over. Alright, that's it. Make sure to moisturize. I moisturize with oil and then I said it with a setting powder. You're going to see that later, but... I have two pickles, hey, 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 hey. There's the two colors I'm going to be using. My favorite face paints right now, which is very comfortable, is the Maron Paradise Paints. And I have the Sky Blue and the Aqua. I think the Sky Blue or Teal. Sorry, not Sky Blue and Teal. Sky Blue and Teal. The Teal's in the middle of my face and the Sky Blue is on the outside of my face. You know, like highlighting and contouring. That's what we're going to be doing today. So here I am setting my face with finishing powder, you know, so it's nice and fine and fills in the lines. With a half a sponge, which is a face paint sponge, if you can find one, you can use a brush, sponge, whatever. I like using a sponge because it gives a texture of skin. So I'm filling in the middle of my face with the teal, which is the lightest color. If you have the lightest color of any of your face paints, put it in the middle of your face. Put it on the highlights, the top of your forehead, the top of your nose, the top of your cheek, and the middle of your chin. Anywhere where the lights hit, when you turn your face, that's where you put the highlighting color. Here comes the blue, which is a sky blue. I thought it was going to be darker than this, but it worked out fine. Sorry, it's switched my mic into stereo because I wanted to test my mic and see how it goes. So yeah, you put it where you shadow. That's basically problem with light face paints is on dark skin it shows through and with dark paint on light skin it kind of shows through so it's a give and take you have to layer if it's a lighter color in your darker skin so now with a cream we're going to highlight even more this is what made it turn kind of greenish later on which kind of looked nice and and almost snake like you see I just mixed it in. I decided I didn't want to use white because I wanted to give myself some warmness. Even though I'm a cool tone kind of girl, um, looking at the picture, I mean, I like warm tones, but my favorite color is purple and green and it's blue. So even though I'm a cool tone kind of girl, I think realistically in nature, you always have some warmness. So I added a little yellow, which is the coolest of the warm colors you know which is orange and red red and being the hottest orange being the neutral kind of and the yellow is the coolest so I used the coolest of the cool warm tones I confused my own self I'm sorry the coolest of the warm tones which is yellow to highlight and it can't be a dark yellow it had to be a nice pale yellow look at that it just glows so that yellow tone was kind of the base of, you know, the warmness. So I added some white to brighten it even more. So now it's going to be even a paler yellow. But I'm keeping this in, like, the middle of the yellow. I'm not going on the outsides. You still have that yellow brightness on the outsides, but in the middle, it gets lighter. Color theory. So there's no trick here. You contour with the darkest blue you can find because what else are you going to contour with? Red? Well, you can. It will turn purple, but let's just contour blue. We don't want too many colors in our faces. We already have three different kinds of color, even though two of them are blue. But we have yellow, we have green, and we have blue. So we're going to keep it under three to keep it, you know, unconfusing. Because it is the base of your face. You're not really a lizard person. I'm not really going as a lizard person. So I'm just staying, you know, simple. Uh, the simpler you are, the more people understand it. Believe me. I tried doing over extended um, artistic ability things and most people don't well understand it. So keep it simple. Especially for cosplay. So I'm using 
Ben Nye Super White and Ben Nye Banana Powder. I didn't use banana powder on my um, normal skin. I said powder, I know. But I use it for my face paints. I use nutmeg for my normal skin. Anyway, I mixed the two together. I used the white first, you know, to brighten it up. And to bring the color a little bit back in, I used the yellow powder. Simple as that. Obviously, you'll need a contour setting powder. So these are two types of setting powders I have, which is in Suva Beauty and the other one, which is my favorite, is Sugar Pill. Suva is a little bit more transparent, kind of like a transparent setting powder. And Sugar Pill is like a full heavy setting powder. So if you could get one, I guess get Sugar Pill because, well, you could use it for multiple things. Um, you know, your eyes, I think. With the Suva Beauty, I use it for a full face kind of things, like right now. It depends on if you body paint or not. We're going to keep it drag queen, you know, giving dimension to our face. We're going to cut our contour all the way to the corners of your mouth. You can even go above your mouth and touch the bottom part of your nose. But I like the roundness covering to my mouth. It's so much better. This look is not an eye tutorial, so I'm not going to show you or tell you the details of this eye tutorial, but it is my favorite. It's kind of like a halo eye glitter look. Halo eye glitter look. It's my favorite. I want to do it every day, every time I look at glitter. I'm going to do it. But you see that green? It's a really good transfer color if you're going to do any eye colors. Um, if you're going to do a smoky eye, transfer green is great over a green look. Um with blue obviously blue you just use whatever face color you have but to give it warmness I use the greenish yellow you're gonna sit here with me and just watch me do this glitter halo eye look because I'm not gonna do a tutorial on it so while we sit here and wait my Instagram is Air of Glee, my Twitter is Air of Glee, my Facebook is Felicia Donnell, or Air of Glee if you could find me, and my Twitch is Gleep. If you want to follow me, see updates, you go there. Because here is an after dawn now. I'm sorry about that, but it is what it is. I have to follow what YouTube wants me to do, and this is what YouTube want me to you. Oh, to do. Sorry. YouTube want me to... Explore the outside and disappear and maybe not post here again. Never mind. I am going to be posting here. Sorry. I just want to to have a discussion play while I wait and look at this. Oh, look. I miss it. I want to do it again. All right, back to the tutorial. The biggest question I always run into is what blush I'm going to be using. You can see the tappy tappies of which color I think I'm going to be using, but I came around to peach. The orange does warm you up, but it kind of came out muddy, so I had to kind of cover that up with my face color, which is a little bit of green, you know, give my green back, and then go back over with peach. Peach works pretty well on almost all skin types. Um, I'm saying that as a blue person right now because I would try red, but that would also come out into a muddy mess. I thought orange would have worked because it's very close to green in nature since orange and green both have yellow in it. But the peach came out on top. What do you know? And it looked actually real. What do you know? I don't know. So I guess warmness does work well, but I guess if you want to do a blue blush, maybe lavender will do well. But I didn't have lavender. The lavender I had had some shimmy shimmies in it. And I wanted to highlight with something else. Okay. The Shimmer Glowy Highlight. Which is coming out of trend in the real world. But I think it should stick to costuming if it ever disappears. Just like how drag queen... Ning was like costuming before it became a trend. I think shimmer should stay when you're doing cosplay. I almost say costuming again. Sorry. So, shimmer it up. If you don't contour, if you don't highlight with ordinary highlight, at least shimmer it up with some glitter or some any shimmer will do. This I think is closer to peach or light 
yellow, pale yellow or something. If you could find like a iridescent blue, use it. If you could find an iridescent green, oh yes, use that. But I'm using like a goldish peachy highlight here. Use it. It will look wonderful in photos. And if you could have setting spray on a sponge and go over it, it will blend into your skin. The second thing I always ask is, what lip color am I going to put on? Any lip color would do because your skin color is really, you know, not realistic. So no one's going to look at your lip color like, ooh, that is like the wrong lip color for that skin type. Well, I would do that, but no normal person will do that. And I'm not normal. So if you have a look at my face paint before, you would have seen that my natural lips actually kind of works with it, which is why the peach actually work. But I wanted to go all, you know, purple, and I wanted to use my purple. Purple and blue, you know, are related. They both have blue in it. So this is basically like a dark nude lip for this um, blue. Not really nude, but more like a, if I were to use um, a kind of not so deep red red but not really red but kind of brownish red there you go brownish red um, for my skin color um if you want to go neutral i would say a dark blue on the sides and a light blue in the middle and then blend them together if you have any lipstick you have to have a natural lipstick to do face paint you're not going to use cream cream is not going to work it's going to spread it's going to crack it's going to taste funny don't use cream on your lips. You can, you can set it, but it's not going to be comfortable. Okay? Okay. Moving on. If you're doing a certain kind of character, you would know what kind of wig or hair color it would have. But for some reason, if you're not doing any character, you're just doing your own kind of look, you're practicing or something, you'll have to match your wigs to your face color. Now, this blonde looks okay, but... I didn't cover my ears and I was too lazy so I was looking and I found it it was kind of a teal green it matches everything you know it's kind of like my whole life is just teal greenish blue my favorite blue is Felicia blue anyway you know from dark starkers kind of way but yeah greenish blue and well it worked out so Good. Usually matchy matchy doesn't work because it's matchy matchy, but this matchy matchy is the best because my eyes is warm, my lips is almost warm. It's I think no. Yeah, the warmest cool tone you can get. The other's green and no. Green? What am I talking about again? So yes, the matchy matchy looks good in this. It works well with this and I kinda wanna do it again. Now you can see the whole face paint here. Everything glows. If I had a nude eye look or a smoky eye, it would glow. If you put any gloss in the middle of your lips, your lips will glow. It will just, it will just kind of look, you know, nice and pouty. Make sure you kind of um, blend it out with your fingers later because then it will just look like you have a glob of spit in the middle of your lips. So just blend that out. But yes, everything works. It came out fine. Oh wait, did I do my eyebrows? This is why you save your eyebrows for the last because you don't know what hair color you're going to do and you won't mess up too much. I like doing my eyebrows last so I could do that, you know, clean line at the bottom of my eyebrows so I could shape it. You could see that clean line of blue next to the shadow of my nose bridge. That's a clean light of cream right there. Yes. So I used green and then I highlighted it with some light mascara green and it looks wonderful. It doesn't match my hair color, but it matches like my face and it works and it's amazing. So basically I am done. You will see me in movement sooner or later talking about who had requested for this video on Reddit. Thank you for giving me this idea. I'm glad I did it. Um, here it is. Um, so if you want to see the whole three hours, it's going to be on my Twitch. Which is very detailed. Um, have some skips and I don't know. It just, things happen. It's like you're sitting there, real life, looking at me doing things and figuring things out. 
sometimes people interact and they also give ideas as well you should know because i think it's streamed both on youtube and twitch but i'm gonna upload on twitch not youtube fickle bing fickle bing yeah so this is a request from fickle bing on reddit she asked for me to do a tutorial on on face paints and whatever i did the green one there's also a live stream of that. I'm not sure if it's up yet, but I think it's up on my Twitch as well of the tutorial I did, what she was uh, referencing to. But I decided to upgrade it a little and give it more color or more originality, you know, because sometimes you just don't want to do plain blue face. You want to highlight with green or yellow, and this time I highlighted with... Oh, my nails match. So there I am with an attention span of... Uh, um, goldfish what has a short attention span there i am again so yeah i am done i am done with the tutorial i should go now i already told you all my social media just look for air of glee on google and you'll find me almost anywhere including my website um, that i haven't updated for a while so yeah future streams i can't wait to game i can't wait to start drawing with you guys and doing art projects and stuff okay so i'll see you then i'll see you later Okay, I love you. Bye-bye. Bye, Larrys. -bye. Bye,